From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. India celebrates a number of festivals throughout the year. Commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ, Christmas is one of the most awaited and significant festivals in the country, which is all about colors, cakes and berry making. This year, the festival returned to its glory as it was celebrated in different parts of India with much pomp and show after the two-year pandemic break. Churches were decked up with beautiful lights and carols energized the whole atmosphere as the country stood festooned in the special colors of Christmas. Days before the festival, markets were packed with variety of wreaths, banners, stockings, Christmas trees, colored baubles, fairy lights, stars, Santa Claus hats and many more decorative items. Fondly called the season of gifts, people flocked the marketplaces to do shopping for their loved ones. This year, the festival was celebrated in its full glory after the two-year pandemic break with markets buzzing with people. We enjoyed a lot and the decorations are really good and we did not expect this actually. Uh, we are coming from KK Nagar. We were, last time we wanted to come but unfortunately due to COVID we could not come. But uh, this time uh, thankfully God's grace we were able to come here. Christmas is the time for merrymaking when people get together to spend quality time with their family and exchange gifts. To mark the festival, churches all over the country held a special midnight mass which was mostly attended by people of the Christian community. Men and women decked up in new clothes took part in the mass prayer session and sung choirs in praise of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has come into the world to save the sinners. Our God is a savior, like a small baby born in the world. He lived as a man, he died for the sins, he gave the salvation. This is the Christmas. Christ means, is the savior. Mass means, worshipping the Lord. And when you participate in all these events, you feel more joy, you feel more happiness. And this will last not only for the this Sunday, but you can remember it till the next Christmas. So this happiness will go on for the one year. To pump up the Christmas spirit, cake exhibitions were also organized across different cities of the country. The exhibitions featured dozens of cakes that were based on a wide variety of themes like mythology, Ashoka's pillar, a train engine and others as well. At Puducherry's Zuka Bakery, pastry chefs curated a giant genie chocolate statue to mark the festival. Visitors were delighted to see such creativity and were happy to be a part of the exhibition after a long break amid the pandemic. Um, we have come here for the cake show and we have brought our cakes. Today they had holiday as well and they are enjoying and it's tremendous. It's, it's beautiful. Everyone should come and watch this cake show and the efforts is really, I mean, we can see that efforts and how beautiful it has been done. A, a marvelous one. I have visited when I was a kid, I mean I did not get time and but this time I have heard a lot of it and I have read in the news also, uh, especially the train ones, a big cake, cake which the kids are enjoying, so yeah, it, the kids will enjoy. Observed as a religious and cultural celebration among billions of people around the world, Christmas is an annual festival that commemorates the birth of Jesus Christ. As the festival comes to an end with the new year, it leaves people with several memories to cherish throughout their life.
the incredible land. India has many reasons to celebrate its magnificence and diversity enshrined in every nook and corner of its territory. Although the country holds a population of Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs and a number of other religions, they all foster oneness and brotherhood among themselves. Setting another such precedence of syncretism is Khwaja Dada Miyan Shah Darga in Kanpur city of Uttar Pradesh where people from all faiths come to the shrine daily. Let's take a look at this incredible shrine constructed over 800 years ago. People from far and wide come to Kanpur's Jajmau to pay respects at Khwaja Dada Mia Shah's Darga. The shrine was constructed in 1358 by Firoz Shah Tughlaq. The Sufi saint is thought to have travelled from Iran to India. Many people who visit this darga assert that they are afflicted by various diseases. After coming here, the effect of these diseases automatically ends with the blessings of Saint Khwaja Dada Mia Shah. हर धर्म के लोग आते हैं यहां तो यही चीज है कि सूफियों के यहां और बुजुर्गों के यहां कोई चीज धर्म देखा ही नहीं जाता इंसान देखा जाता है कोई भी इंसान हर धर्म के लोग हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई हर तरह के लोग आते हैं और हर एक की मुराद यहां पूरी होती है जो भी लेकर के वो तमन्ना आते हैं ख्वाहिश आते हैं वो परेशानियां उनकी दूर होती हैं और यही वजह है कि यहां लोग बिन बुलाए आते हैं हर तरह के लोग आते हैं और यहां कोई भी किसी भी मजार पे किसी तरह का कोई भेदभाव नहीं होता है उर्स का मौका होता है तो फिर मैं समझता हूं कि उत्तर प्रदेश और उसके इलावा बाहर से भी बहुत से लोग आते हैं और जब अजमेर शरीफ का उर्स होता है तो उस मौके पे तो खैर गुजरात है महाराष्ट्र है कहां-कहां से जो भी बसें होती हैं इधर से होकर के तभी वो अजमेर शरीफ जाती हैं अजमेर शरीफ से वापसी करती हैं तो फिर यहां से होकर के even today, people from different places and religions come and offer chadar here and seek the blessings of the holy saint. Everyone wishes are said to be granted by saint and nobody is said to leave this place empty-handed. It's been a long time for me, I've been here for 15-16 years. I've been in Jajmo, I've been in the old days. I've been here for a long time, I've been here for a long time. I've been here for a long time, I've been here for a long time, I've been here for a long time. कुछ भी सब समझ लो दिक्कतें हम लोग को फैमिली के बारे में मदर की अभी बीमार हो गई थी सिस्टर बीमार हो गई थी मैंने हाजरी यहाँ लगाई यहाँ पर दादा मियाँ मखदूम साहब बाबा हम लोगों को काफ़ी सब समझ लीजिए दिक्कतें सब कम हुई उस वजह से हम लोग यहाँ पे हाजरी हर जुमे रात को आके लगाते रहते हैं किसी कोई भी दिक्कत वगैरह कहीं तो हम लोग दूसरों लोगों को भी बताते हैं कि आप हमारे क्षेत्र में जाजमू में जाइए दादा मियाँ की मज़ार है मखदूम साहब बाबा की आप जाके हाजरी लगाइए इन पूरा काबरेट आपको सब समझ लो होगा the message of peace and brotherhood comes out loud from these dargahs and these sites have been acting as symbols of communal harmony for ages. Since the beginning, the harmony between the many religious communities has been defining a characteristic of India's oneness. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Tibetan spiritual leader in exile, the Dalai Lama inaugurated the Pali and Sanskrit International Bhikkhu Exchange Program, which aimed to bolster ties between followers of Pali and Sanskrit traditions in India's eastern holy city of Bodh Gaya. The inauguration, which took place in the Vatpa Temple, saw the launch of a five year plan for the program for 2022 2027, which will help in the expansion of Buddhism and communal harmony among its sects. There is a something slight differences between the uh, Theravada or Mahayana. Mm. That this or uh, those differences, not to uh, what you say, misunderstand. We organized this one by blessing of His Holiness Dalai Lama. Actually, it was his wishes. And we launched today five years plan, 2022 to 2027. This uh, exchange program will help uh, to uh, spread or grow up more Buddhist world. Monks were seen praying to Lord Buddha's idol as they recited hymns in Pali and later the Hart Sutra, which is a philosophy from the Mahayana sect of Buddhism. The five-year exchange program took off on Tuesday after the Lai Lama delivered sermons. 
India hosts a large community of Tibetans, including the exiled leader, the Dalai Lama, one of the main sources of friction with neighboring China, which accuses the Nobel laureate of stirring unrest. India celebrated its first Veer Bal Divas or Brave You Day to pay homage to the revered 10th Sikh Guru, Guru Gobind Singh's sons, Zurawar and Fateh, who were killed in 1704 AD in New Delhi. The four sons, Ajit, Jujhar, Zurawar and Fateh, came to be known in history as Veer Sahabzade or Brave Sons of a revered man after they lost their lives to a Mughal invasion by the Emperor Aurangzeb. Beardas Guru ka yogadan kya hai? Desh ke swabhiman ke liye? Sikh parampara ka balidan kya hai? Birbal divas hamai batayega ki bharat kya hai? भारत की पहचान क्या है? Indian ministers of state for culture Arjun Ram Meghwal and Minakshi Lekhi were also present to observe the day. Guru Gobind Singh was born in India's eastern Patna on December 22, 1666, according to the local calendar. Indian actors Siddharth Malhotra and Rashmika Mandana released a romantic song from their upcoming spy thriller film Mission Majnu in India's western Mumbai city. Malhotra and Mandana danced to their new song Rabba Janda which depicts the love of the protagonist for his love interest. I think uh, Mission Bajnu Rabba Janda is also special. This is the first time hum 1970s ke roop mein main romance kar raha hu ek heroine ko. Uh, so we're hoping that is picture ko bhi, is gaane ko bhi utna hi pyar milega jaise aapne purane gaano ko diya hai. So hopefully this song and the film will live on for years and months to come. The duo was accompanied by one of the producers of the film, Amar Butala, as they interacted with reporters and posed for photographs. Directed by Shantanu Bagichi, the film, set in the 1970s, showcases the story of an Indian spy on a mission to expose a nuclear weapons program in Pakistan. It will release on Netflix on January 20. India has a great history in Sufism that evolved around 1000 years ago. The shrine of Sufi saints not only bring together people of different religious communities under one roof, but also act as a guiding force in the lives of many individuals. The shrine of Baba Hire Shah Ji, situated in the Atari area of Punjab, near India-Pakistan border, has not only brought people of different religious communities together, but also was visited by devotees from across the border. Situated in the Atari district of Punjab, the shrine of Peer Baba Hire Shahi Ji Kalandri has served as a sunasha of communal harmony for generations which is thronged by a large number of devotees every day from across the nation irrespective of their religion. Regarded as one of the greatest Sufi saints, Hire Shah Ji throughout his life spread the message of Sufism and peace. ਇਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਨਮਲਾ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਹੋਵੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਹੋਵੇ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨ ਹੋਵੇ ਸਾਈ ਹੋਵੇ ਅੱਲਾ ਜਾਤ ਇੱਕ ਆ ਇੱਕ ਨੂਰ ਆ ਸਾਰੇ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਮੰਤਾ ਮੰਨਦੇ ਪੀਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਮੰਨਦੀਆਂ ਮੰਤਾ ਪੂਰੀ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਆ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਨੇ ਇਹਦੇ ਹਰ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਮੁਲਕ ਦੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਬਾਬੇ ਦੇ ਭਗਤੀ ਦੇ ਬਾਹਰ ਬੈਠੇ ਆ ਦੀ ਸ਼ਾਈਨ ਇਸ ਸਿਚੁਏਟਡ ਰਾਈਟ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਅਟਾਰੀ ਰੇਲਵੇ ਸਟੇਸ਼ਨ and devotees from Pakistan used to visit the Dargah when some Jhota Express used to run from Atari to Pakistan. It's been said that Saint Hire Shah Ji Kalindri belonged to the time of Maharaja Ranjit Singh and came to Atari before 1947. Coming from far and wide, these devotees attended the prayers to seek the blessings of the Holy Saint. 
It is believed that Sain fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty handed from here. ਦੂਰੋਂ ਦੂਰੋਂ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਆਉਂਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਕੋਈ ਮਲੇਰ ਕੋਟਰ ਦੇ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਆ ਕੋਈ ਯੂਪੀ ਤੋਂ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਕਿਤੋਂ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਆ ਕਿ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਤੋਂ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਸਮਝੌਤਾ ਐਕਸਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਗੱਡੀ ਚੱਲਦੀ ਸੀ ਡਰਾਈਵਰ ਵੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਇਹ ਤੋਂ ਆ ਕੇ ਸਵਾਰੀਆਂ ਚੜ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨਨਕਾਣਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੂੰ ਮੱਥਾ ਟਿਕਣ ਜਾਣਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦਾ ਗੋਰਪੁਰ ਵਿਸਾਖੀ ਦਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਇੱਥੋਂ ਟ੍ਰੇਨ ਤੇ ਲੋਕੀ ਬਾਹਰੋਂ ਦੂਰੋਂ ਦੂਰੋਂ ਆ ਕੇ ਦੇਸ਼ਾਂ ਪ੍ਰਦੇਸ਼ਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਟ੍ਰੇਨ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਉਹਦਾ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਬਾਬਾ ਹੀ ਰੇ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਦਾ ਗਾਇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਸਾਂਝੀ ਆ ਇਹ ਸੰਦੇਸ਼ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਰਾਲ ਮੇ ਕੇ ਪਾਈ ਚਲੇ ਚਲੋ since ages the sufi saints like hire shah ji kalantri have propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country and their teachings are still playing a significant role in strengthening the threat of secularism and now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of world in focus After the long pandemic halt, Japanese firm All Nippon Airways ANA has resumed business. The firm has resumed all domestic and international flights. ANA is working on promoting its business by collaborating with YouTubers and influencers. Kimono Mom is a famous Japanese influencer with a whooping subscriber base of 1.4 million on YouTube. ANA collaborated with her on her family trip for promotion. ANA takes care that traveling for and with children is easy. Totori is located at West Japan seaside of Japanese archipelago. In the winter it gets covered under a blanket of snow. Kuraiyoshi town keeps Edo era town scenery. White warehouse and red roof tile go well with clean river water. Mochi is a sticky rice cake and a popular traditional food in Japan. Well colors mean Japanese ancient official clothes of imperial court lady. It layers 12 color clothes. Fresh crab is a quite popular seafood specialty in Japan. Totori provides matsuba crab that is most popular meal of winters. Hakobare te kita shunkan kara kaori ga sugoku te tabete miru to amami mo gyoshuku sarete te yakigani ga kekko osusume desu. ANA continues to develop aggressive promotion strategies like collaborating with famous influencers and personalities. It is through continuous efforts like these that ANA is on the upward slope of development. Wildlife photographers and nature lovers enjoy observing dozens of local and migratory birds at Egypt's canal city of Port Said. The activities are part of the city's first international festival for bird watching and photography held by Egypt's Tourism and Environment Ministries to support the environmental tourism sector in the country. Today we will focus on the possibilities of the natural resources that we need to be aware of and to bring this world to the world. The focus on this event is in the form of strategy of the government for مهرجانات واجدة فعاليات واحداث على مدار العام في كافه مناطق الجمهوريه والوجهات السياحيه الموجوده في مصر ويعد مهرجان بورسعيد الدولي الاول لمراقبه وتصوير الطيور هو الاول من نوعه في محافظه بورسعيد at ashtum el gamil natural reserve Nearly 200 wildlife enthusiasts and photographers participated in the festival according to a statement by the Environment Ministry. Egypt is considered an important spot of migratory birds where nearly 200 local and migratory species registered at Ashtum El Gamil Natural Reserve only the ministry added. Egypt's northern lakes and Nile represent nearly 25% of the wetlands frequented by migratory birds in North Africa. Climate change impacts birds breeding grounds and hence their trips between Europe, the Middle East and Africa. Scientists say an estimated 500 million birds migrate from Africa to Europe and Asia every year. Some weigh just 9 grams, 0.3 ounces.
This is a famous ramen museum in Japan's Yokohama city. Established in the year 1994, it exhibits the history and evolution of ramen. Ramen noodles have always played an important role in boosting tourism in Yokohama. Ramen noodles were invented as a fusion meal of Japan and China after Japan became an open economy in 1859. Later, different versions of ramen started originating in different areas of Japan. There is strong bond between ramen and Yokohama after 1899 when Japanese authorities barred foreign settlements Authorities recommended the Chinese to become chefs. This accelerated ramen culture in Japan. ま、Based on its long and interesting history, Yokohama preserves memory of not only its food culture but social traditions as well. In Bolivia, artistic pieces with the touch of France can be found in the capital's downtown at a bus station designed by Alexandre Gustave Eiffel, the civil engineer behind the Eiffel Tower. The bus station was initially a smaller scale train station built with the same design qualities as the bigger Parisian ones created by the iconic designer. Later the building became a customs warehouse before being finally repurposed as a bus station in the early 80s and remodeled during the pandemic. For me, painting in a train station by Gustave Eiffel is an immense honor for a French. Nous avons des monuments comme la Tour Eiffel, comme le pont du Garabit. Et euh, savoir qu'ici à La Paz, en Bolivie, il y a une gare euh, dessinée et créée par euh, Gustave Eiffel, pour moi c'est euh, une grande émotion. C'est un moment fantastique. En cela, je remercie l'ambassade de France, la municipalité de La Paz et euh, la Bolivie entière d'ailleurs. Now French artists Gilbert Mazout and Bolivian brothers Elias and Ismail Arkani have adorned the station with colorful murals inspired by the existing link between La Paz and Paris. The six murals that were created will now be displayed on various parts of the building's facade. A folk festival is a cultural and entertainment event that celebrates folk music and takes place in a regional, national or international setting. A number of folk festivals are organized throughout the country that not only show the culture of a region but also promote the region as a tourism hotspot. Recently, the Naushera Folk Festival was organized in Jammu and Kashmir with a motive to promote Naushera as an offbeat tourism destination. Folk festivals are not only a great way to showcase the culture and traditions of a particular region but also play an important role in attracting tourists. Recently, a folk festival titled Naushera Folk Festival was organized in the Rajori district of Jammu and Kashmir to attract tourism at this offbeat destination. Organized by the Department of Tourism at the lawn of the Boys Higher Secondary School, the event saw mass participation of the locals. Nushera is an off-beat destination which is part of the 75 off-beat destinations of J&K UT and it is part of the border town. We wanted to show this event and we have tried to show the Directorate of Tourism from Jammu that is a cultural function displaying all the cultural diversity of Jammu division in which we have combination of this region in Gojri and Dogri combination today in front of you. साथ साथ रहेंगे हमारे लोकल परफॉर्मर्स साथ ही साथ हैंडलूम हैंडीक्राफ्ट और विभिन्न डिपार्टमेंट्स यहाँ पे एनिमल हस्बैंड हस्बैंड्री एग्रीकल्चर हॉटीकल्चर सभी की जो है एक एक्सिबिशन स्टॉल भी है। The festival saw a number of mesmerizing dance and music performances. Some of the performances included a dogri dance performance, a gojri dance and a pahari dance performance. A live singing performance by Shoaib Kandu, Shivam Shiva, 
and Sandeep Brar was thoroughly enjoyed by the audience. A number of stalls were also set up by different departments to spread awareness among the locals. हमें बहुत ही अच्छा लगा यहाँ क्राउड भी बहुत ही अच्छा और हम शुक्र गुजार करते हैं टूरिज्म का और जो हमारे कोरियोग्राफर है सन्नी मुज्जू सर तो जितने भी हमारे साथ आर्टिस्ट आए हुए हैं हम अपना कल्चर प्रेजेंट करना है हमने डोगरी भी किया कश्मीरी भी किया और यहाँ पे बहुत सारे आर्टिस्ट आए हुए हैं पहाड़ी भी किया उन्होंने तो बहुत ही मज़ा आया हमें एट द एंड ऑफ द फेस्टिवल सम ऑफ द पार्टिसिपेंट्स व फेलिसिटेटेड बाई द अथॉरिटीज फॉर देर आर्ट वर्क The first edition of the festival was a massive success with around 2500 people participating in the grand cultural event. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia@ani.com. I'm your host Osma and it's goodbye from the entire production team. <laughs>